My dad died when I was nine. All the stats were against me, but I, I would not be just another number. I got pregnant when I was 18 and my dad has been out of my life more than he has been in it. I can't do this on my own, but I am not just another number. My dad was incarcerated when I was in fourth grade. The numbers say I'm two times more likely to end up in jail myself, but now I'm not just a number. I can break the mold. At Urban Impact, we're finding that at the root of a lot of the issues that are plaguing this community is fatherlessness. But we're seeing through missionaries and the relationships that they build that a change is being made, that lives are being transformed. Uh, the greatest impact that COSEF had on my life so far is uh, me switching schools from going to Arderice, now going to um, Eden. And like, I've been living with him and like, he just been helping me through like, if I need to help with my homework or just being there for me, like as a man, as a male figure. Blake has a great mother that's invested in his life, but when he first came to Urban Impact in fourth grade, his father was just incarcerated. So he was cutting up in school, he was having a difficult time obeying his mother, and he actually got held back that year in school. And so when he came to Urban Impact, it was clear that he was a little bit of a loose cannon. I was disobedient, not listening to my mom, uh, disrespecting my teachers, uh, and that led to me getting held back in fourth grade. But because of Urban Impact, I'm moving in the right direction, applying to colleges, and just trying to live right. I grew up on the north side, and I live with my mom, my little sister, and my daughter, Boston. And I've always been a part of Urban Impact. When Dom became pregnant her senior year of high school, um, we were all kind of taken aback a little. This was a student who was really involved in our programs. Um, but she's also a student that we believe in and want to continue to pour into, and so we all make mistakes. But at the end of the day, Christ calls us to love these kids. And even if they stumble and fall sometimes, we're going to be right there to pick them up and love them with all we have. There was just never a year, never a day, never a, a time that I wasn't a part of Urban Impact. So it's like my life is around Urban Impact. And it just makes me want to be a part of it more, be on the other side be a mentor just like I've been mentored or help kids out just like when I was a kid I was helped out. The hardest thing I've ever experienced was the loss of my father and but I got but I got through that. I got through it with a lot of patience, strength and just you know, just just going slow. When I was in high school, uh, I got connected through my church to a mentor, and that was just huge for me, just to kind of walk through life and to have that example of what a godly man is supposed to be. Uh, and that was really great for me. And now, you know, in my mentorship uh, relationship with Tiger, it's like I can, I can just echo those lessons and I can just be an example to him and, and showing him that you can make it, you can succeed, um, you can beat those odds. You don't have to be a negative statistic. Some of the similar things me and Miss Matt like to do is go to the mall, laser tag, chill at Urban Impact, and um, hang out, just be in ourselves. He's there for me, he uh, provides for me, he helps me achieve my goals. He is like, he's like a father to me. I think transformation occurs through relationships. It's not about any of the programs that we put on at Urban Impact. Um, those may draw kids in, but what's really vital is those real deep relationships that we build and, and the purpose behind them of, you know, as a kid you really want to be known. And so for someone to really be there for you and live life with you, um, I think makes all the difference in the world. After I gave my life to Christ, he was always there for me. We started a Bible study, and then we like grew from that, and now we're still growing. 
My greatest hope for Blake is that he would be a godly man, that he would be a godly husband, and that he would be a godly father. My wife Tammy and I came to the north side of Pittsburgh to live 29 years ago. And we came because we believe when Jesus came to the earth, he didn't just come to the earth one day a week and shoot back up to heaven for the next six. No, he came to dwell among us, to build relationships in order to earn the right to be heard. He came to communicate and demonstrate the love of God to those folks. Well, that's what Tammy and I have been doing for 29 years. And we trained and equipped 12 others to do the same. And we found that every missionary that we bring onto the north side, they can impact a hundred kids. The greatest thing you can do to put your hand in the pile is to lock arms with our missionaries, to support them, for they're already here, making a difference, built relationships, earned the right to be heard, and I really believe we can turn the tide of fatherlessness in our cities.